warmest greeting. Can you greet your seatmates with your warmest? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Myself first. My name is Jong. Hi, and beside me is my beautiful wife, May. Hi. And together we will be your MCs for today. In behalf of our organization, the Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals, or BCBP, I would like to welcome each one of you. We hope you enjoyed your breakfast. Before we part ways temporarily, I, I would like to give out a joke. I know for most of you, you are looking forward to the joke segment because it serves as an icebreaker. But for us, the MCs, I'll be honest, this is the most challenging part of the program because it is so hard to make everyone laugh. So please be good to me. <laughs> All right, are you ready for my joke? Yes. yes. So first, my first joke, a taxi driver tapped the driver on the shoulder to ask him a question. The driver screamed, lost control of the car, nearly hit a bus, went up on the footpath and stopped inches from a shop window. For a second, everything was quiet in the cab. Then the driver said, Look, buddy, don't ever do that again. You scared the living daylights out of me. The passenger apologized and said, I didn't realize that a little tap would scare you so much. And then the driver replied, Sorry, it's not your fault. Today is my first day as a cab driver. I've been driving a funeral van for the last 25 years. So imagine driving a funeral van and someone taps you in the car. Okay, okay. Two more. Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're the father of twins. That's odd, answers the man. I work for the Minnesota Twins. A nurse says to the second guy, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. That's weird, answers the second man. I work for the 3M company. <laughs> A nurse tells the third man, Congratulations. You're the father of quadruplets. That's strange, he answers. I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> the last man is groaning and banging his head against the wall. What's wrong, the others ask. I work for 7-Eleven. <laughs> Uh, telling jokes a challenge, he certainly loves telling them, right? <laughs> so aside from the laughter and the fun, if this is your first time attending the BCBP breakfast, you might be wondering what BCBP stands for and what it is all about. To know more about the BCBP and its advocacy, let's watch this short video clip. The BCBP strives to live up to its mission bringing Christ to the marketplace, and winning the marketplace for Christ. The best thing that can ever happen to anyone starts at a BCEB breakfast meeting. An hour or so of your week can grow into a phenomenon in your life, changing it to serve a much higher purpose. Make that move to becoming Jesus' disciple and make the business world, your world, your community, and your family more pleasing to Him. Make the BCDB breakfast meeting your regular breakfast habit. All right, now included in the video is our Winnipeg. 
May I call on Patrick Sullivan? <laughs> Alfie Norton? Please come to the front, Janice Destacamento. Anna, Anna Kokmarek. today and we would like to know you more so may we request you to introduce yourself by telling us just three things your name where you are from and who invited you I'll start closest to me so, hi my name is Jasmine Arzana. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Hi. hello I'm from Hamilton and my Tito Allen invited me today yeah. Victoria and Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and then my cousin invited me, which is Kuya Allen. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Janice. And um, I'm from Hamilton, and Annabelle Hoskins actually invited me here. Good morning. My name is Patrick Sullivan. I'm from Hamilton, and Alan Bell. <laughs> I'm Anna Koshmerik with Patrick. We got invited by Alan as well. Hello, my name is Humpy Norte. I'm from Niagara on the Lake, and I've been invited by my mom to that. <laughs> All right, thank you, friends. Let us welcome our first timers with our warm BCBP welcome. May I request our music ministry to lead our welcome song?
Bye bye. 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 For those women are in the front, please uh, transfer at the back. And we will, we will uh, start on this community. Girls, <laughs> The closing of the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> Great wall of <laughs> Ang pagsasarado. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's wait until the room goes. The thing out there is closed. I'd like you to turn your chairs. Of our sharer. Uh, this is what we've all been looking forward to. Um, so, the person who will share her life story with us attended the GTA Christian Life Program number two, and she is currently the treasurer of the Southwest Outreach and Waterloo Mission. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce to you one of the gentlest and calmest person that I've ever met. Let us all welcome. Being a member of BCBP, I led a prayer for life. And everything I do as simple as just sitting in our patio, we even have a verbal moments with my husband. In my mind and heart, I am praying for you. I have a grateful heart. Even if I had bad days, I thank Jesus, for I know he will always be beside me. I have learned to overcome anxiousness and fear, for I know our good God will always be near. My name is Annabelle Bokiran Hoskins. I am a member of the Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals, GTA Southwest Outreach. Thank you all for joining me this morning.
Response is taken from the book of Psalm, chap chapter 30, verses 10 to 12. Hear me, Lord, and be merciful. Help me, Lord. You have changed my sadness into a joyful dance. You have taken away my sorrow and surrounded me with joy. I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you, Lord. You are my God. I will give you thanks forever. The word of the Lord. Amen. Nice to God. for the men's part. So I'd like to give thanks to Brother Alan for giving us a very wonderful story of a testimony of how God will uh, free us from our slave law. And so as on behalf of uh, Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals, I'd like to award you the Certificate of Appreciation for being our chairman. And we'd like to give this certificate of 
appreciation for Sis Annabelle Hoskins for sharing your uh, life testimony to us. Um, it was beautiful and inspiring. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Once again, I give you thanks for this invitation, Speaker Alan, and for this beautiful uh, celebration this morning on this uh, breakfast meeting. It's really uh, inspiring to see this group of people here gathered, sharing together stories and experiences of their lives, their faith, their ups, up and downs, and how really they rely on the grace of God. Of course, the help of people who really uh, assist them in bringing to kind of reality of what life is. That we cannot be by ourselves without God. Our life is nothing without the Lord. So we have to rely everything on the grace of God, on the help of the Holy Spirit. You know, it's really amazing that uh, every previous meeting, we learn something from others. We learn the story of other people. There's ups and downs. There's story of faith. And from that, we learn also in ourselves that we also grow together as a community, as a family. So this morning, my reflection is centered on the gift of faith that God has given us. We know that faith is like a mustard seed, small one. But that seed will grow unless there is some kind of help. Fertile soil, the water, the environment that helps the seed to grow, to sprout the bare fruit. Just like our lives, you know? Without the fertile environment, soil, water, people around us, help us to grow in our faith. We have that kind of old mentality that, you know, my faith is only for myself. We say that, you know, I am God, that is my goal in life. But you know, I, I read a story from uh, Richard Orr, Rohr, who said that, you know, when we speak about uh, life, there are two aspects of life that we need to know. First is, we call the evacuation plan. When we were baptized, we all think about ourselves and God. That's how the old way, me and God. That evacuation plan is to bring us ourselves. My intention is I have to save myself. That's why I don't care about other people. But you know, that is not actually the plan of God. The plan of God is the so-called transformation plan. That is where we are now. We only are saved when we are transformed into the life of Christ here on earth. And how we do that is to emerge ourselves with all these kind of activities, to be in a community, to help our faith grow and to help others' faith grow as well. So that is the plan of God. That's a divine plan. So we got to sit down in our home by ourselves. We have to really go out. That's what BCBP is all about. We have to go to the marketplace, transform the marketplace, make the community of faith grow so that together we all grow in the love of Christ. So that is the very important thing. Our mission is to be part of that community. God sold us into this community so that we will grow together 
so that our life that is transformed into a new life will be able to help others to grow in their faith. So that we are doing here this morning. Go out and help others. Invite them to this kind of program, this community, this spiritual program. Invite them to the breakfast meeting. Invite them for a time for their seminar. And this is probably our mission today. We are not by ourselves. It is not only an evacuation plan, but a transformation plan. That's how God sees in each one of us here. So I hope we always continue the mission of God, for we are all missionaries. We are the bringers. We are the influencers of faith. We go to the world, to the marketplace, transform the marketplace into a place where God dwells, where we go together, where we also rise together, and also bring that salvation to all people around us, to our community, to our family, to our friends and loved ones. Thank you. Thank you very much, Father Lombardo, for the inspirational message. Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we could spend in your presence today. Help us remember that you have given us more than we could have ever asked for or even imagined, Lord. Help us to continually turn our eyes to you in worship and adoration. For you are the Alpha and the Omega, King over all. We thank you for all that you bless us with, Lord. The family and friends you surround us with. We thank you for the freedom we find in you. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Mama Mary, please be with us and always intercede for us in our prayers. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, Lord God, and amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us remain standing and sing together our closing song. <coughs>
again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel, Mirulada TV.